this video I'm going to show you how to make thermite. Well the first thing you need to do is, is you need to make iron oxide which is rust. You need to be very careful when you do this because it creates um, carbon dioxide and um, some other nasty chemicals and if you breathe it in it will you know, kill you. So this is what you need. You need two wires um, some like nails or anything that's metal that can turn into rust. A uh, six volt battery. A glass cup with salt. All right, you need to fill the cup with water. Make sure it fully dissolves. Alright, once your cup has salted it, take all the stuff outside, um, just to, so the carbon dioxide and all the stuff coming out of this cup won't kill you, and so in case this battery leaks, you're not going to get acid on stuff you don't want it to get on. <laughs> so anyways, alright, well what I did was, I tied these wires up to both of these nails. What you do here is this. Let's see, I'll try to put the camera down. Alright. Hook on one end. Hook on another. Okay, um, let's see. Alright, now what you do is you get the battery, set it down, and put these nails in. Make sure they're not touching. They have to be separated. And wait till this turns into rust. And just straighten this wire out. There's one. Okay. Get the second one here without hurting myself. Oh, never mind. Alright, then you put in the second one. Now hopefully this won't blow up. I'm gonna get on the other side. Just so I don't lose something. Alright. Yep, and it's making bubbles. Alright, now just leave that. This is going to get really hot. Make sure you put it out where you're not afraid to lose anything or get anything damaged. Um, come back when this is turned to rust. And uh, I'm going to come back when this is turned to rust. And then I'm going to show you how to purify it and make it usable for thermite. So it needs to bubble about like that. This is what it should look like about an hour later. Apparently, they haven't dissolved that much at all. So just keep waiting. It might take a whole day even. Just be patient. Alright, after a couple hours, pour this out into a filter. And there will be some salt that down there. Make sure you don't get that in there. Okay, well once all your water is gone, it should look about like this. Put it under a light so it can dry, and uh, then it should be ready. After your rust is dried, scratch it off. Get all the rust in a pile. It should come off like this. And there you go. That's how you make iron oxide. Now all we need is the powdered aluminum. 
and we'll have thermite. You need to find some powdered um, aluminum. Now, you can make it like this. You just grind it in the wheel and pick up this fine powder. Okay, well I have this master lock right here, and this is what I'm going to use it on. I'm going to demonstrate how hot this stuff can get. Right. God, please let this work. Amen. Good night.